Viagra was discovered in Sandwich in Kent by accident. Such an amazing story. Pfizer scientists were trialling a drug for angina and they found the interesting side effect of one they were trialling, which was called sildenafil, was, you guessed it, since its introduction in 1998, the little blue erection-inducing pill has grown in popularity. Last year, almost 300,000 prescriptions were handed out to men over 70. 7,000 went to men in their 90s. It can and does go much younger, though. Cricketer Freddie Flintoff once admitted to having three in one night in his early 30s, three Viagras, that is. In total, almost four and a half million prescriptions were issued last year. While many men seem to relish the chance to revive their possibly flagging sex lives, there are women who aren't so keen. The former BBC broadcaster Jenny Murray explained why in her column in the Daily Mail. She says in the rush to fix erectile dysfunction in men, women have been forgotten. And she says the fact is wives and girlfriends aren't always turned on by a chemically induced arousal. Sex and intimacy go deeper than that, says Jenny. For example, a couple who had their children long ago and are ageing more or less gracefully might well normally accept their sex lives are being wound down. But since the advent of Viagra, the cal calculation has changed. Some women say they're fed up with being pestered for sex by men who are old enough to know better with the unspoken threat that if you kick him out of bed, the erection will go elsewhere. So Barbara Want, our Radio 2 relationships expert, joins us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jeremy. Well, what a topic this is. We're also joined by Dr Jeff Foster, a GP from Warwick, with a special interest in men's health. I, I, it's, it sounds like this is just a, a job, a, a drug that deals with male mechanics, Barbara, but even that introduction I read shows it's much more than that. Well, it is much more than that. And I, I don't disagree with some of what Jenny Murray says, but I do feel it rather sad that we should be finding it uh, curious that men over the age of 90 should be prescribed Viagra. All credit to them, or even the idea that somehow we should age gracefully and accept our sex lives might diminish. For some, that's true. For some, it's not true. Oh, and, and Jeff Foster, where we get serious here is that, that there may well be a, a somebody who has erectile dysfunction that can be socially and um, painful in every way in relationships. It can be an indicator of medical problems in the body as well. Yeah, I have real issues about people that just buy Viagra over the counter or go to a chemist because they can access it. You have erectile dysfunction for a reason, and it might be psychological, and it often is in younger people. But as we get older, there's a medical reason for this. And my old boss used to say that the penis is like a barometer of male health, and it's a really good analogy. Because if it's not working, then is it because your testosterone level's low? Is it because you've got narrowing of your arteries? And the longer you ignore this and you buy Viagra over the counter or something similar and you delay things, you delay a real medical problem that could be fixed properly. Is that so it's 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 a way of c c correcting one symptom that may actually be leading you to a much more important conclusion. Exactly. It's like putting a plaster on a cut but never working out why you were bleeding to start with. Mm. Uh, yeah, and Barbara, when you mentioned your male partner who took it, I wasn't thinking necessarily he had a problem. I thought he might just be older and, and you know, things don't work as they did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, I, I suspect there, as the doctor is saying, there is a, a, there are of course other issues that are more likely to happen when people do get older. But I think many cases with erectile dysfunction, and I totally defer to a medical expert on this, but I do believe that there are many cases where a psychological approach is also a solution. And to ignore the underlying causes, whether they be medical or psychological, is crazy. Now, I used to be a television producer, and I, many years ago, I've never forgotten the conversation I had with a woman who was a therapist and she'd been treating a husband and wife the woman the wife had was nearly near to a close to a, a nervous breakdown because they had not managed to have penetrative sex for 17 years and in this case the therapist said in two sessions with them looking at the underlying psychological causes 
the problem was solved. And I totally agree with what the doctor said. There are lots of other reasons that can underlie it. Equally, for many people, it can be a fantastic solution. But it is not easy. It's not a simple pop a pill and you're going to have great sex for hours. Dr Foster, I've got to confess I have never taken Viagra, so I don't know the answer to this. Are there side effects, apart from the obvious Rarely, one? but I think going back to the original point you said, um, I, I would slightly argue that I don't... I think in terms of psychological causes, that really tends to become less of an issue as we get older. Um, patients over 40, most men with ED, um, have some sort of biological cause that goes with that. And there is that psychological pressure because once you've had it once, you're more likely to have it again because you've got that awful product of expectation that it's probably not going to happen if it didn't happen the first time and you get relationship difficulty. So I agree a joint approach is useful, but you have to look for the cause. We have like about a thousand patients on our, our company, which is H3 Health, and we have a private list. And we look after all these men with erectile dysfunction and they're all nervous about going to their doctor because they don't want to talk about it and they don't know what to do with Viagra. And personally, I would say is don't buy Viagra as your first choice. See a doctor first. There are newer and better medications out there. It will work for many people, but you have to know why it's happened to start with. Thank you both so much. Barbara Want, Radio 2 Relationships Expert. Dr. Jeff Foster, GP from Warwick with a special interest in men's health.